Hey, DragonCon 2017, Crispy here again, and I've got Rick with us. Rick, thank you for coming to DragonCon. Is this your first year here? Yeah, this is yeah, my yeah, first yeah. year. This it's... is awesome to have you here. So thank what, you. Tell us what you think about your experience so far. Um, it's insane. It's, you know, at first it's kind of quite scary, actually, because there are so many people here. It's like being in a spaceship, really. Mm -hmm. We're here at the Marriott, and it's, um, I'm on like the 39th floor. I've never been in a hotel so big. Oh, I was wow. just in Zimbabwe, the biggest hotel. I was at the top floor, it was number 17. 17. Oh, oh yeah, so it's kind of, it's it's scary, but it's yeah. awesome. I mean, everyone's been so nice and, and so genuine and so legit, you know, yeah. people here did not mess around. I mean, it's really cool. It, it, we try to be a friendly, I mean, the Southern United States has the friendliest, you know, genteel kind of quality. And we like to think here at DragonCon, we give that on right. to you as well. I like that, so I like no, that. No pressure, oh, you're gonna bring that out <laughs> on me. My hometown. You know, I'm obsessed with the South. We were actually yeah. in Pensacola a couple of weekends ago. It's, yeah, it's true blood territory. True blood territory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of that twang out there for fact. Yeah. So Rick, uh, I know personally, uh, with your stint on The Flash, I'm just, we're gonna say this directly, you were honestly my favorite experience of season one. Stop so it. let's just what? throw Tell that out again? there. Yeah, you were my favorite experience about season one. Thank you. You're welcome. That's great. Yeah, well, that's you know, great. I so mean, thank you for lot, that. Yeah, it, well, it's really touching. You know, a lot of people miss Eddie a lot, and you and you know, it, they didn't see it coming. And I've become somewhat of a martyr, I think, I for, so, yes. for the Flash series. And it's been it's been really cool because people kind of you know they they still really adore me and they want me back on the show and. Um, you know, they're hoping that I'm coming back as someone evil or right. a supervillain or someone style. nice or, yeah. yeah, some people still want me to be nice. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you're going to walk I'm around and continue to say, hey, nice, Barry. Yes. Yeah, get out <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> totally. I, I would love to see you uh, take on the, the Thawne name and, uh, yeah, go a little crazy with it, but perhaps. Yeah. yeah, there's so many directions it could go in. You yeah. know, people are suggesting Cobalt Blue. Yeah. Um, that would be cool. But, you know, to have someone start so nice and so mm -hmm. established, and then to kind of see them slowly, you know, turn green and yeah. evil. I mean, um, but you know, it's probably going to go for at least like nine, se ten seasons. So rate, yeah. by the tenth season, you know, who knows what I'll be. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love the idea of that. So you yourself, what? What's your nerddom? What's your geekeries? My geekeries is um, British period dramas. Yes. Yes, you just and I've, my crew over I've, here. <laughs> I've heard that Matt Smith is here from The Crown. Yes. Um, and yeah, we're kind of freaking out, uh, um, me and my agent here, because, and and now I think I have a sort of uh, a taste of what it might feel like for when people come up to me and they sort of they can't breathe and <laughs> you know they're they're shaking and they're they're holding together and I'm kind of like what's and, and now I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit of that yeah, yes. happening because I know every British period drama like I was obsessed with all the BBC versions of like Jane Austen. Oh, and, right. like, yeah, do, so do, it's do you even crazy. go into the, like the parody off-brand stuff, like the Lost in Austins? Oh wow, I have not gone that uh, deep, you but gotta, you, you know, I'm go. on the edge, so right. I may as well dive off. The precipice right? of, of, of the dramas there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a slippery slope. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing you like creeping around Matt Smith at this point. <laughs> this is my mental <laughs> oh, no, image the, for the year. <laughs> yeah, Matt's gonna be like the word who is, is this out. Guy? Yeah, I don't know. we no, thought of tricking fun. him, being yeah? like, you know, th Matt, there's a cast dinner tonight, yes. and we'll just be like two of us there. Hello, Matt. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at stalking, but obviously, oh excellent. Right now, I'm tripping out because I. I've let, I've let everyone know. So no, they won't see this yet. So That's you've got time. number one. You have time Rookie before mistake. we post it. So yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully the whole weekend is going to be the fun kind of crazy. You're yeah. going to see the fans. You're going to fan out yourself. But before you get going, Rick, because I know it's very busy, I've uh -huh. got random questions here in a okay, bowl. Cool. We're going to shuffle this up. All right. And let's see what you get. <sighs> I hope it's very personal. Up. It is. I hope. <laughs> oh. Do you write in print cursive or a combination of both? Handwriting seems to be on its way um, out. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I actually thought that I was as I was writing the other day. But um, I, I, I write in cursive, um, and then I write in print when I do capitals. Okay. Um, I learned my penmanship in Zimbabwe, very old school. Oh, excellent. Um, some, some fun classics. I couldn't type that. until I was like 19. That's a line from Muriel's Wedding, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, what role was that? So, <laughs> yeah. I'm typing a 19 here, everyone. So type. We'll so. get there. So Dragon Con, thanks you, Rick. For coming out and come check them out while while you have the chance. Awesome. Cool. Come and see we'll you see guys. you soon. Thank you. Bye.